loving the Lord. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Have you been involved in discussions about how God is? Sometimes, even in modern times, people discuss whether God is like this or like that, or whether we have to imagine in another way the depth of being here or beyond this world in the universe, in another time, in our time. But usually such discussions are done by people who have a cold heart. Totally different King Solomon, he says in 1 Kings 3, verse 3, Solomon loved the Lord. It is not such a cold heart. Instead, he has joy in the Lord. He has a relationship with the Lord. He has love and joy towards the Lord. Solomon loved the Lord. Let's also target such kind of love to the Lord. God is calling us. He is looking for us. He is looking for our love to him. He is calling us and he even has sacrificed himself for us. He has sent his own son Jesus on the cross to take away all that hinders us to take away all the walls that separate us from God. He has opened a door we can go through. And the dying Savior, he is calling us and looking for our love. And since he has risen from the dead, he also sends his Holy Spirit into our hearts to open that fire of love in our heart. He wants to take away our hearts made of stone, the cold heart, that only knows and discusses with the distance. Instead, he wants to give us a heart that is filled with the Spirit, burning with love and fire, love to the Lord. And if there is only a small spark of love, then the Lord promises that he does not want to eliminate it. Instead, he wants to let the fire increase, so that finally we can say, same as Peter said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Love to the Lord. Lord, we ask for forgiveness that so many times we let our hearts become cold, like stones, absent and turning away from you. You don't want us to be like that, and we also suffer from it. It is not good for us. We pray that you send your Holy Spirit and ignite the fire in us, the fire of love to you, so that we also help others and that we become as you want us to be and may fit in your kingdom. Praise be to you forever. Amen.